Tony here, watching the ups and downs of Trucker Josh. Poison Oak and all. Have a good day. Good morning, everybody. Just pulling out of the garage. We're going to be running into town today to do a bunch of uh, errands. Get all the rest of the materials that we need for the door. I believe I need a few 2x4x8s and a couple of 2x12x8s and a couple of other things as well. While we have the wall open, we'd like to install an outdoor plug on the back of our house as well because we have no outdoor plugs in the back of the house. We have two on the front, none on the sides. I guess we have one on the side in the screen room, but that one was put in afterwards. It's an older house, so I guess back in the day, they didn't need electricity as much. I don't know. But since we're going to be building that big deck behind our house next year, we're going to need to have electrical access back there for stuff. It's 2019. We need electricity, unfortunately. We kind of rely on it a little too much, don't we? All right, let's go to town. Let's get some stuff done. I don't know. This isn't rain anymore. This is definitely turning into some kind of snow type substance. You can hear it hitting the windshield, right? I guess this is this is our life now. We've had a good summer. Hopefully we don't get too much snow before Halloween, but you know, October is when it sort of starts and it sort of comes and goes and comes and goes until like mid-November and then it sticks around. Then around Christmas time, we get our first really, really big dumping of snow that sticks around. The sooner we get this winter over with, the sooner it's summer again. Does the camera pick it up? There is some evil, evil white stuff falling on my truck. Can you see it? A little bit of it gathered on the edge of my windshield here. First official snowfall of the season. I don't know if I should be sad or happy. I like winter, I do. I say this every year, I love winter, I love snow, it makes everything so clean, white and beautiful, everything looks so clean and pristine. I just don't like it when it's on the road. I wish there was a way of like having all of our roads heated. So you know, whenever it starts snowing, you just flick a switch and all of the roads on the entire continent, Canada and the United States just turned into like heated pavement and all the snow would just melt off. I guess you don't have to do that in the southern states. Uh, just in the states it gets snow. Or how about just in Canada? Hey, we need it more than you guys. We get lots of snow up here. Heated roads. When it gets invented, remember me. I thought of it first. I just don't know how to invent it. Can you imagine? Oh, that'd be so cool. The roads would never be icy again. It would save so many lives. Maybe we need to start like a protest movement. That's the thing to do nowadays, right? The cool thing to do. A protest movement. Heat our roads! Heat our roads! We'll get signs and everything. It'll be great. Let's see what we can find in here. All right, so I'll show you my haul here. It took quite a while there in Penner Building Center, but uh, it was good. It was good. So we got this wood, first of all. Uh, we got 2 by 12 by 8 those are for the header. I got two of them. Underneath there, I've got four two by four by eights there, four over there. So we got eight all together to build the frame around where that door's supposed to go. I've got three eight foot brick moldings over here to go around the outside. And I got the flashing for the top of the door here. I got a 10 footer. I don't know why they, I'm pretty sure I ordered an eight footer, but when I went to go pick it up, it was a 10 footer and I just went, eh, whatever. It was, the weather was getting bad, and I just wanted to uh, get out of there. As you can see, winter is upon us. 
It's just around the doorstep now. Or wait, 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 not the doorstep. Just around the corner. What am I talking about? Doorsteps. Just around the corner. Okay, so other than that, I got uh, the spray foam to seal it up. Once we get it in there, I've got uh, a bunch of shims. I've got two packs of these. 12 in each pack, so that should be enough. What else do I got here? Oh, and I got some uh, sheathing tape. There's a couple of pieces I forgot though, but uh, since we're looking at this weather back here, uh, this is actually pretty good. The weather down south where my dad is, he was on his way home from the US in the truck and he got stuck in Grand Forks, North Dakota because they closed down I-29 northbound. So uh, the weather's really bad. And west of here, like Winnipeg West, between Winnipeg and Brandon, they got close to two to three feet of snow. So this is actually not too bad. It missed us for the most part here. And it's mostly melting now. But it did get pretty bad. So with the bad weather, we decided we're going to install that door in spring next year. We'll have a lot more time. Then it was going to be a little rushed. We were going to install it. We'd only have like five, six hours to get it done. Got a lot of other things going on. It's also Thanksgiving weekend for us here in Canada, like I've been telling you. And it's just wasn't going to work out. So one more winter of letting the dogs out the front here. One of the big reasons I wanted it in there before the winter is because when, when we let the dogs out in the front here, uh, they do their business like right around on the front here, right? And in the wintertime, it sticks around and then you got yellow snow here, right? And then you have guests come over and they got to get out of their cars and see all the yellow snow. And listen, so I wanted it to be in the back. But one more winter and then we'll be good. So in springtime, we're going to get that door installed. But at least we have pretty much everything we need. We need just a few more things uh a few more things before we can install it anyway but now we have another what it's it's october now so november december january february march april we'll probably put it in april so half a year we got about six months and we'll put it in but uh it's right around the time when i want to start building that deck in the back anyway so we'll probably do it all all at once one in one one area or one i don't know kind of disappointing but it's nobody's fault, and it's actually better this way. I like it better. I'd rather do it in spring. It's cutting it too close to the winter season now. I don't want to cut a hole in the house when there's already snow coming down. You know what I mean? So that's that. I also got myself another little toy. I'll show you in a little bit. I got to go put the winter tires on the wife mobile, and I got myself I got myself a little special tool to help me out with that. We found everything we needed, and I know we kind of jumped to the evening here. But we're just gonna have to go with the flow here because it's now time to put on the winter tires on the wife mobile because believe it or not winter has apparently made a very grand entrance a little earlier than we wanted her to so that means it's time for me and diesel turn the lights on so we can see what we're doing and change some tires i want to show you a new toy i got check this out Got this today. Cordless impact wrench. Uh-huh. It'll make changing these tires a breeze. Right, Diesel? Yeah, man. Look, and it's got a light on it. Look, it's got a light on it. Light you up. So Britt and the other boys are inside. I just got Diesel in here with me. Chevy doesn't really like being in the garage that much. It scares him. And Diesel, well, he gets antsy and paranoid if I'm not in the house. He doesn't know where I am, so I took him with me. So let's do this. Let's get this done. Uh, first, we need to get the winters out from underneath here. Those there, those are just spare wheels. Remember, I told you I used to be an import guy. I used to have a Honda Civic, and I used to have these Koenig unknowns. There, that's what they're called. Koenig, 18-inch Koenigs on my Civic. Still have them. Beautiful, look at this rubber. Look at this beautiful. Oh, they still smell new. They've only been used one season. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Woo! Why are you looking at me like that, Diesel? What are you doing? Do you know what you're doing? Does mom know you're doing this? So we bought these tires new 
when we bought the terrain last year. So they, like I said, they've only got one season on them. They're still looking beautiful. They smell brand new still. I love the smell of new rubber. All right, tire numero uno. And yes, I know what I'm doing, Diesel. Don't look so freaked out. Not the first rodeo. Got a fancy tool this year to help me out. It's gonna be a lot easier. All right, let's get this under here. Let's see. Uh, where is the... inch ex extension right away as well. <laughs> Come on. These things are really on there. It just needed me to talk to it real nice. You know, a little sweet talking. I think we're gonna to need to get her some uh, new all seasons for next summer, maybe. It's looking a little, well, these might last, no, they'll, they'll last another summer yet, I think. Still got a pretty good tread on there. Okay, so I don't think it matters. They're all like, exactly the same. Except one front and a front. <coughs> all right. No, it's got to be on that side. Uh, it's got to be on that side as well. So you got to make sure that they rotate the right way. Rotate. There we go. So you will be on the back. All right. There you go. There you go, you see? Just like that. A little, little spinneroo on there, a little spinneroo on there. Spinneroo there, spinneroo there. See now, every other year, I'd have to crank these on by hand. This year. This year. We're doing it right. Well, Diesel, did you ever doubt me? What did you do? No, I made it better. I made it better. Mommy's gonna be so mad. You messed with her car, man. I'm sure she'll be fine. I'm sure she'll be happy. That's the way she won't get stuck in the wintertime. Okay, that's okay, then. That's okay. Yeah, I just filled up her washer fluid for her. There we go. All new tires, they match again. <laughs> hey Diesel, is it time to go back inside now? See what everyone else is up to? That went so fast, so much better than doing it all by hand. We got to test these things out in Winnipeg yesterday, so I'm filming this outro or this last clip a little later, but we got to test these things out in the deep snow. Winnipeg got about uh, <laughs> three feet of snow and none of it was plowed off the roads yet because I don't think they were expecting it this early in the year. But it's winter peg. I don't know why they wouldn't be. Anyways, they hadn't cleared the roads. And this thing with these winter tires is a tank. The all wheel drive, seriously, if you're looking for a good vehicle for a family, 
in wintertime, get the all-wheel drive terrain. Uh, this is a 2014, I believe, but man, just plows through the snow. Didn't even spin once in the deep snow in the parking lots. Made our own tracks, didn't even have to follow other people's tracks, just plowed right through it. It was great. It was great. So uh, my vlogs lately have been at home. Uh, for those of you new to the channel, welcome. Subscribe if you feel like it. Hit the like button, hit the down vote button if you want to. Uh, there is a lot of home time vlogs this week because my semi truck is in the shop. Got a whole bunch of stuff done to it. Uh, we'll go over it once I pick it up. But uh, the oil separator and crankcase breather got replaced. Uh, my passenger side steer got replaced. Two of my wheel seals got replaced. Uh, they fixed that mud flap bracket. They welded it together uh, so it's not bouncing around like it used to. Oh, what else did I do? Uh, a couple of marker lights got replaced. And I got a full service, so it's going to be a big bill. It's going to be a big bill. But uh, we'll be back on the road soon. A couple more home time videos. I'm going to foreshadow tomorrow's vlog a little bit for you guys because it's already sort of happened and I'm going to be putting it together right away. I'm going to give you a hint and say there was a fire and the fire department had to come out. So uh, tune in tomorrow to see what that's all about. All right, I'll see you then. Bear with me, we'll be back on the road soon enough. Tony here, watching the ups and downs of Trucker Josh, poison oak and all. Have a good day. Uh -huh.